Oh God, what do I have to live for now? Hi y'all, Snarky J Cosplay here. Yes, we need to talk about the news that broke yesterday. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is still ruined. They have delayed the release of the Batman 2, which was supposed to be coming out next year in 2025. And now it got pushed back all the way to October of 2026. No! Oh! My thoughts exactly. So as you probably all know, The Batman was released in 2022. It got great reviews, made a ton of money at the box office, and it also changed my life entirely. I'm kidding, I'm not that unhinged. Stop it. Get some help. Anyways, a few months after it was released, there were already plans in the works for part two, and they were supposed to start filming this year to release next, but it seems like all of that is getting pushed back. When you consider that The Batman was released March 4th of 2022, and now we're gonna have to wait until October of 2026, that literally puts four and a half years between that movie and its sequel. That is an insane amount of time to delay a film. As of right now, we don't actually have an official explanation from Matt Reeves or anybody involved in production as to why this movie is getting pushed back so far. My running theory is that this huge pushback is due to delays caused by those strikes that we had last year. They did last a while and supposedly Matt Reeves was still trying to write this movie. So now any revisions, rewrites, whatever are all getting done probably later and in a hurry, which means means that we'll all be denied more Batman and I won't get to see my beloved Battinson until 2026. It's honestly not all doom and gloom though. We are still getting that Max special series, The Penguin. It's theorized that we could potentially get a Bruce Wayne slash Batman cameo in this one, but to be honest, even if he didn't make an appearance, I am really interested in seeing where this story goes. Colin Farrell did an amazing job as the Penguin. He was 100% unrecognizable. I really thought that was a great interpretation of Oswald Cobblepot, but I also think that it'll be cool to get a series that's more about that underground seedy part of Gotham when we're not seeing it through the eyes of one of our heroes. So if you're like me and you're passionately yearning for that Matt Reeves Batman universe, it's not like we're gonna be another two years without any Reeves Batman content. We will get that Penguin series and I honestly think that that's gonna be a really good one. It is, however, a tremendous bummer that we're not getting Batman until 2026. I, I have needs, you know? Stop it. Get some help. But admittedly, I am 100% willing to wait. I feel like when studios and directors and writers and everybody starts working really fast, a lot of corners start getting cut and things start getting pretty weak when it comes to these movies. The Batman 2022 was not a perfect movie, but it was really, really phenomenal and one of my favorite Batman films. So I'm honestly willing to wait as long as it takes for them to produce something of equal caliber or higher to follow up the Batman. We do not need any shitty and disappointing sequels to what I think is one of the greatest Batman films of all time. And that's all from me. I've been Snarky J. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. For more Snarky J, be sure to check me out on Instagram. And if you'd like to support me, this channel, and my content creation, do check out and consider subscribing to my Patreon for exclusive photo shoot content. It would really help me out. I'll add links to both of those in the description below. And let me know your thoughts about the Batman getting delayed in the comments below.